Right then, hello and welcome back to some more V-Rally. Last time we completed the easy mode on Arcade, completing the four stages of Corsica, Indonesia, Spain and England. And now we have Medium. We have Safari, New Zealand, England, Corsica, Indonesia and the French Alps. Uh, there was a vote as well on what car to use for this one. And uh, every single vote went to the good old Seat Ibiza. So that was fairly easy. So thank you very much for that. Uh, there will be another vote as well once you get into the hard difficulty for the WRC cars. Um, now, because there are six stages instead of four, I'm going to lower the laps to three, uh, sorry, to two from three. And uh, we're going to put slow car boost on. Uh, now, uh, Battery Man commented on the first episode as uh, saying he would like to see the slower car boost. It makes the racing a lot closer and it makes it a bit more difficult as well. So, uh, yeah, that will come into effect as well. So we'll get ready then for stage number one. That is at Safari. And uh, this one should be fairly simple. Uh, now, I have uh, done a few test laps just to test out the, uh, the car. And uh, yeah, there's my lap time so far. A fastest of 110.44. Uh, the car settings as well, I'm going to keep as normal. Um, luckily on this game, it saves the previous setting that you use. So the gear ratio is staying as long and the understeer oversteer is in the middle, so, which is actually quite good. Anyway, let's get started for the first rally. And look, a giraffe. Nice. It will eventually load. Ah, there we go. And here we go then. Uh, now, one thing to mention about the uh, the harder difficulty of arcade mode is that the less time you have uh, to reach each checkpoint. So easy was fairly straightforward. Uh, when you get into the medium stages, yeah, it is uh, a little bit harder to get to each checkpoint on time. Um, first couple of stages shouldn't be too bad though. Now you can see the slow car boost that we do really catch up to the front end of the other cars. And, oh, he's made a mistake. Medium right. Get around him. Medium left. Oh, he's going to try the undercut. No, will he do it? Oh, I'm just going to try and spin him. Didn't quite work. No, oh. No, you little son of a bitch. Oh, and we're running out of time. It's alright. Checkpoint is right there. Yeah, the thing is, that is uh, my biggest downfall about this game, is that the handling is a bit too floaty in places. When you go over a bump, the car just gets very unsettled, and most of the time you just end up spinning, and it is incredibly hard to actually recover from. Um, but hopefully we shouldn't have too many instances of that. So we almost run out of time. Final lap, and you can see the, the massive increase in speed that we get from being last with the slow car boost. So we do uh, get a nice range of speed. No, don't understeer into the shrubs. God, I love the... Uh, the ambient noises, the the sound effects that you get on this game as well. No, there you go, the car getting a bit slidey. Um, yeah, just sound effects, you get birds chirping, crickets, a crowd. Oh, no, 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 come on. Ah, oh, you swine. See, as soon as you go over a bump, the car just sort of like loses all manners of control. And uh, I think we're actually going to be fourth on this stage. Because, uh, yeah, even with the slow car boost, we're going to be last. Well, not the most promising start for medium. Yes, I'm well aware I finished fourth. Well, not the kind of start we wanted, but it's a start. I guess you can call it that. Um, yeah, uh, I don't think it should be uh, a problem to complete medium. But uh, anyway, we'll we'll see anyway once we get on to uh, the last stage and see if we can actually unlock hard mode. Um, we didn't win every stage in uh, easy, so, you know, we should be okay. Anyway, New Zealand 
for round two. And a lot of sheep on the side of the uh, the stage for this one. Kind of reminds me of whales. Anyway, off we go. And we're up against both the uh, Renault Megans and one of the Peugeots. Of course, the, uh, the Megane variant is the French and UK livery that was used for the cars back in the day for the uh, two-litre class of rally cars. So there you go. Uh, the, the collision detection or the, the, the collision boxes are a little bit skew if on this game as well. You think you can actually get past very clean uh, from the other AI and... Yeah, you, you always seem to clip them as you're overtaking them, which is a bit annoying. The, uh, the collision box is a lot uh, bigger than the car width is. Right, so far so good. We've actually managed to get into the lead. Oh, you... God, I hate it when the car does that. Let's go over a slight bump, and the car just sort of loses all control. Is it? I could uh, describe it as the... Uh, the handling is similar to that of a U-Technics game when you go over a bump. It just becomes all floaty and uh, you can't control it at all. No, 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 no. Okay, so that is uh, not a big problem, though. We're in second, but as you can see, the slow car boost and we just blitz past and then the car doesn't turn. No, you don't. One lap to go, and we are neck and neck. Can I get a comeback and get a victory for this stage? That would be nice. It says easy left, but it went to the right slightly beforehand. So I'm being very, very tentative now with the, uh, the car. Because the last thing I want to do is bin it and then lose the race again. Which would be a, a really crap start. There's that medium left coming up, which comes up very, very quickly. And usually catches you out, but nope, managed to slow it down on time. Oh god, no, don't you dare. Pendulum effect. Yeah, it's the thing. Once you get, like, a pendulum effect on the car, you try and counter-steer to correct the spin. And uh, the car is like, nope, and goes straight around on you. No, and again. No, don't. Oh. They're right behind me. I can hear them. Oh, maybe they're not as close as I thought they were. I can definitely hear them, though. Yay, we actually get a victory. Finished. Hooray! You finished first. We finished first. Lovely. Yeah, so uh, not too bad then. I will take a victory, even though it wasn't the most tidiest of uh, races, I must admit. But, oh well, a win's a win at the end of the day. And look at that. Side by side, going over the start finish line on the previous lap. Yeah, not too bad. I will take that. Good. So we get one victory notched up. Four stages left to go. And we're in England. And of course, the weather is fog. So, uh, yeah, as always with England, it's always damp, miserable, drab, dreary, windy, wet, foggy, misty. You name it. England gets it. Except for recently, though, we're going through a bit of a small heat wave, which is nice. And a, probab a probability of uh, thunderstorms on Monday... 95% probability. So uh, hopefully we get some good, uh, damn good thunderstorms. You son of a bitch. Okay, that is one. That is one of my biggest pet peeves in racing games. Right? Is that AI can spin you out very, very easily. But you try and spin out any AI cars, and it is more or less impossible to spin them out. It's like they are stuck to the road, like shit to a blanket, sort of thing. Easy 
I wouldn't have said that was easy. I would say that was more of a medium, but... Okay. Oh, where's the checkpoint? There it is. Right, slow car boost. And, of course, they block my path. Okay, good. Lap one complete. Third at the moment, but take this position, hopefully. Or not quite, because the car does tend to do this weird thing. When you slow down, it takes about half a decade for the car to accelerate again. And the same thing when you have to reverse. If you spin the car in reverse, try and put it back in the first gear, and the car just sits there going, I don't know what to do. Right, catching up to the Almira. Which is good, because if I lost this race to a bloody Nissan Almira, I will not be happy. <laughs> Suck on that. You don't hear a lot of Nissan Almiras these days. I don't think I've heard or seen an Almira for bloody donkey's years. So, uh, I think they've just sort of, like, disappeared or evaporated or... You know, just been deleted from the world or something. But yeah. And yay, we actually get another victory. Two wins out of three stages. Awesome. Oh, look at that. And uh, the replay is right with the other cars as well. So this will make for an excellent screenshot. Uh, yeah, that's why I, you know, I leave it on the replay for a little bit because I'm looking for a great. Uh, thumbnail opportunity because you know these these games like i said don't have the greatest graphics so trying to get a good thumbnail is uh, a little bit on the difficult side but for for its age you know 23 years old same came out the same time as toka touring cars it doesn't look too bad i mean it, yeah it's a little bit janky in places and the cars don't really look like their uh, real life counterparts but i mean i've seen a lot worse Right then, here we go. This is going to be another quick and fast stage, I think. We're in Corsica. So, uh, yeah, this should be a fairly easy stage. It's tarmac, so shouldn't be moving around too much. Well, hopefully, anyway. Uh, let's see what cars we're up against on this round. They change every single round, which is good. It gives you some variety. Ah, so we've got the Peugeot, we've got the Almira, and we got the Megane again. And off we go. Hopefully we can uh, get into the lead. The gearing is still on long, of course. Oh. Oh, okay. So, uh, hmm. They are uh, pulling away, pulling ahead a lot faster than I uh, anticipated, so. Oh, you s bloody... Invisible walls. You can cut a corner and there's an invisible wall that just completely flings your car around. We're five seconds back already. What the hell is this nonsense? A slow car boost. It is not working. Where's the, where's the timer? Where's the timer? Oh, bloody hell. We're actually losing time. Oh, that's not fair. That wasn't bloody fair. Oh, for goodness sake. <sighs> right in sight of the start finish line and a bloody car decides to flip. Well done in it. Alright, medium left to start. Get off. God, how can they take the bloody corner so quick? That is really infuriating. Oh yeah, medium right, and there's a crest which makes the car very unsettled. Thanks for that. 
Well, I don't care. As long as we finish the rally or the stage, uh, that's all I'm really counting on at the moment because, uh, yeah, this is bloody atrocious. Oh my god, the car is going all over the place. We're seven seconds back. That's better. Yeah, seven seconds back from the bloody lead. And now we're catching up, but I mean, as soon as you get into the tight twisties, they pull away again. Okay, so we got enough of a gap between myself and last. So third place, uh, that wouldn't be too bad. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, move. Oh, thank you. Uh, at least we've got a nudge. Thing is, now though, we just wasted a lot of time. If we can get to the checkpoints on time. Oh. Okay, got to make it to the end. Don't, don't, and again, and again. You mother Okay, so, third time's a charm. And we didn't roll the car, but we managed to get second place. Oh, son of a bitch. But now we've only got one continue left for the, uh, the rest of the arcade mode, but... Oh well, we'll see how we get on, regardless. So... Anyway, next stage, uh, we're in Indonesia, so uh, I think I'm going to put the gear ratio down to normal, just to keep it okay, just to make sure it's saved, yep. Yeah. And it's raining, yay, wonderful. That's all we needed, is a bit of bloody rain, hooray. Yeah, that stage, bloody hell, if you go over that bump, that always bloody flips your car, that's stupid. Oh well, such is the physics. And here we go then. Off we go. And we're up against the two Renaults and the Perugio. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Why did you do that, you bloody pillock? The AI are cheating sons of bitches, I'll tell you that much. Oh well, at least we're catching up to them slowly. Come on, get a move on. Come on, come on. First time we've had to deal with a hard right. Ah, get out. That's what you get for spinning me out, you bloody wally. Come on, catch up. We can do it. Okay, one lap to go. Just concentrating now, just not to mess up. There's the other car in front, the Perugio. And of course, a hard right. I don't think we're going to catch up now. We're three seconds back. Oh, no, 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 no. Bad mistake if you go into the walls. It is easier just to bounce off the wall now when you get around the corner easier. Oh well, 
second place. Could have been worse. But at least we finished on time. Oh, I don't know. This is a very, very strange finishing order. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to unlock hard mode at this stage, but... Oh, well, we'll have a look. Only, uh... Is this the last stage now? I don't know. Yeah, French Alps last stage. And uh, this is going to be another fairly... Mm, I don't know. I'll put the gearing back to long. Uh, we'll just see how we get on with it. But anyway, last stage then of medium. Hopefully we can... Uh, win and actually unlock hard mode because i don't particularly want to go through that again because it's a bit bloody annoying anyway mostly tarmac so it should be okay and off we go Hard right, come on, get out of the way. Bloody Peugeot drivers, move. Medium right. Easy right. Hard right. Hard oh, right. no. Come on, get a move on. Catch up to him. God, they really give you barely enough time. Medium right. Ah, uh, yeah, we got the longer straight, so I think we should be all right on this stage. Once we get once we get past the Peugeot, right. then I think we should be golden. But unless a little son of a bitch does that, for God's sake. I don't bloody believe it. Game over. Oh, we still got three credits. Okay. Okay, we still got three credits. That's good. I thought we ran out of credits. Oh my god, they give you barely enough time. Oh, that was a better start this time. Block off the Almira. No. Medium left. Medium left. Can I skim up the inside? No, I can't. So I'm just going to push you wide. Nope, that didn't work either. I'm surprised we had three credits left. I forgot if, how you get credit. I think you actually win credits, but every time you win a stage, you get another credit. So, and of course, we did win the two stages in uh, England and New Zealand. No. Oh, no, don't get squirrely, you stupid bloody game. But that's what I mean. You know, you can get up close to another car, try and spin him out, and the son of a bitch just doesn't want to move. Get out of it. <laughs> that was very mean, but I don't care. Anyway, we at least we get to the checkpoint. Easy right. Hard right. It's an easy, but I don't want to take any chances, so I slow down. Easy well, we've got to be close to the start finish line now, aren't we? Yeah, there it is. All right, one more lap to go. One more lap. Indeed. No, 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 oh, no, uh, come on, move. Right. Hopefully we can make up the deficit so we can uh, get to the checkpoints on time. Oh, this is going to be bloody close. Okay, full on concentration mode. Oh, it 
was an easy no. Oh, for God's sake. You get stuck on the goddamn walls. Ugh. This is bloody annoying me now. Oh, well. See you at the start finish line if we ever bloody get there. Okay, so uh, we finally did it in the end. That bloody corner, though, almost caught us out again. Um, it's because it goes up on a slight crest. So, uh, yeah, when you think you can go around there pretty much flat out, you can't because the car just get a little bit of air and you go straight off into the side of bloody track and get caught on invisible walls. So, uh, anyway, managed to do it. and We're leading by an absolute country mile and we still got loads of time to spare. And there we go. You finish first. Thank you very much. Ah, so there we go. Have we unlocked hard mode? Yay, there we go. You completed the arcade medium mode. Awesome. So that means we should get uh, hard mode. Which would be nice. Let's double check anyway. Arcade, medium. Yay, so we now we've got hard mode. So we've got four stages on that one, we have Corsica, Sweden, French Alps, Spain, New Zealand, Safari, Sweden, and the French Alps again. Um, and for that one, we're going to have uh, another vote on what car to choose. Now, we're going to be using the WRC machine. So we have the Ford Escort WRC, the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 4 WRC, and Subaru Impreza WRC. So, uh, yeah, cast your votes, and uh, whatever car gets the most votes, we shall use for hard mode and arcade. So, yeah, that is it for me, and I will see you all next time for Hard Mode. Thanks for watching, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you then.